Hi, welcome back. Um, I thought that this week I would try to do another weekly reading vlog. I'm planning to do a lot of reading this week. I have a relatively chill week ahead, which is good because I need to get my life in order. I need to get prepped for university because I start university again in exactly a week. So next Monday, I need to be like set to go, set to get back to studying, working, being a full-time student. So this is the last week that I have like off to do as much reading as I want to, to like be as chill and relaxed as I want. So I'm gonna use that time. So basically I'm pretty much at home all week. I have no massive plans except for a few things here and there. Mainly it's just gonna be me getting kind of prepped for university. And I thought because I wanted to like film a couple of like study vlogs and just do a little bit of uni content as well, on this channel, I thought I would start this this week and take you with me whilst I get prepped for university, maybe do some spring cleaning, get everything ready and settled and just kind of settle back in after all of my traveling and all of my concerts and trips and journeys and everything. So yeah, I hope you are excited to spend the week with me. I'm going to try and make this as fun as possible. And of course, we're also going to do a lot of reading. So let me show you what I'm currently reading. I am reading Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco. This is the third book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. And I actually picked this in my prompt Choose My April TBR video for the prompt of, I think, continuing a series. I think this was continue a series that you started. And I'm already on page 204, so I'm like almost halfway. I was actually planning to finish this last week, but then some stuff happened and I didn't finish it. So I'm still in the middle of it, but I'm hoping to finish this in kind of like the first half of the week and then pick something else for the second half of the week. But we'll have to see how it goes. Um, I'm going to try and do a lot of reading tonight. I don't have any plans for the evening, so I might have like a cozy night in and just do some reading, make a cup of tea. And just yeah spent my evening with a book I am excited I spent the last few days kind of not really reading yesterday I was at the Fletcher concert in Frankfurt I was so excited it was so good it was insane and then I think the evening before I was watching the Eras tour movie so I've been in a big concert mood but I'm gonna get back into a reading mood so yeah I hope you enjoy the vlog and I will come to you with a reading update whenever I've actually picked up a book and done some reading. Okay guys, it is quite a while later. Sorry for the bad lighting. Oh my god, this is horrendous. Um, but I thought I would take a moment to explain to you what um, Escaping from Houdini is about and what my general like thoughts and feelings about the book are at this point. So, as I said, this is the third book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, and in the entire series, we follow these two young people, um, Audrey Rose and Thomas Cresswell, and they are both students of like forensic medicine in Victorian England, and they essentially work as students of forensics and investigate a ton of like murders. And in this particular book, we are actually on like a boat that travels from the UK to America. And on this like journey on this ship, a ton of like murders start happening in these really weird cryptic ways because they all seem connect to be connected with like tarot cards and like sleight of hand and everything. So it's very mysterious and they're basically investigating these murders whilst everyone else on the on the ship is kind of like trying to like I don't know ignore that something sinister is going on like everyone's just kind of like shove it under the carpet and like ignore what's happening and they're like people are dying every single day and you're trying to ignore it so yeah that's kind of what the plot is about and I'm really enjoying this like I'm having the time of my life I think I really 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 like the way that Carrie Maniscalco like creates an atmosphere I feel like her books are really, really visual, which is something that I already enjoyed in the first two books, but I feel like in this one it's almost like even better. Like this is 
probably one of my favorites in the series so far because the atmosphere is like 10 10. It's so good because basically we have such a well described setting on this ship. There's this traveling circus that's putting on like a different like circus show or act every single night and they're so well described. Everything is so visual and just perfectly like perfectly described like the scene is set and I really enjoy that I feel like for some people the book might might lack a little bit of like depth because it is very much like a it plays in my mind like a movie but we don't get as much of like the inner workings of like their brains and like feelings and stuff but I personally don't mind that like this is still YA like I'm not expecting a literary masterpiece where I get like deep intrinsic thoughts and like philosophy and this is fun like this is pure entertainment and I'm having the time of my life with it honestly um I feel like this was the perfect book to pick up because it's just so entertaining it's so fun like I love this um yeah I'm currently on page 278 so I've read about 80 pages I'm gonna try and read a little bit more of this today so I can maybe finish it tomorrow um, I really, really want to read a couple more books before I go back to uni, but, like, I'm not sure how realistic it is. Maybe if I pick up a couple short ones, but I feel like recently I have been taking a little bit longer for, like, books than before. And I actually wanted to, like, quickly address this because I think in some previous videos I've said that, like, I'm so far behind my reading challenge and I actually decided to lower my reading challenge from 75 books to 50 so that I'm just like back on top of it because I realized that I was five books behind and anytime I would like finish a book and be like oh now I'm getting on top of the reading challenge I would like instantly fall behind again just because I do not have that much time to read at the moment and I don't want to cut back on like other hobbies or other work related things like I can't really cut back on anything else so I felt like the easiest thing to reduce and to reduce the stress on myself was just to lower my reading challenge. And I feel like a lot of my friends have done that this year. And I think it's just because we're all like getting back to like busy lives. Like we're all getting older as well. Like I'm not the same person that I was when I was like 18 and reading 60 books in a year. Um, or even like the same person that I was during COVID when I was reading like tons of books constantly. Like now I have to get a master's degree and to maintain kind of like adult life and so I've decided to lower my reading challenge a little bit. I hope that that doesn't mean that I'll actually read less. I hope I will still read the same amount of books, just a little more relaxed and less stressed than before. So yeah, um, feel free to let me know how your reading challenge is going, if you're like exceeding your goal or if you're also behind and if you are behind then you have my love. I hope this made you feel less alone and less like a failure or something because you should never feel like a failure just because you're behind on your reading challenge. Like this is a hobby for all of us. This is something that we should do for fun. And if cutting back on your reading or your reading challenge and like lowering your Goodreads goal helps you actually have fun in life and feel less stressed, then I think you should do it as well because it really helped me just like feel more relaxed and more chill about my reading. and not like I have to finish a book every day and like whenever I don't read for a day like I've basically been a failure on that day because I didn't read so yeah um just some thoughts some late night thinking I am going to have my little cup of tea this was hotter than I expected I just burnt myself but um <laughs> I'm gonna have my tea and read some more of my book and then I will probably not see you again tonight because I am really wanting to change into pajamas and get into bed but I will see you tomorrow morning for a new day of hopefully lots of reading and maybe some updates regarding escaping from Houdini. Bye bye! Good morning it is currently Tuesday morning um I had a very big lie in and slept in really late but it's good because I had a lot of like sleep deprived nights the last few nights. So I felt like I needed to recover a little bit. 
Um, but I'm excited to spend today reading and getting my life together. My plan for today is I'm going to hopefully finish Escaping from Houdini. And I also need to do a food job because I have like no food in the house and I need to eat something. And I also really want to do a bit of like a spring clean desk clear out because basically over the last semester I've stopped using my desk as a desk and I've started using it as like space to put everything that doesn't have a space and now it's just cluttered and like full of stuff and I don't even know what's on there and I've been dreading going through my desk because I know there's so much stuff that has no like proper space so I'm gonna do that today because I know if I don't do it before the new semester begins I'm never gonna do it so today's the day that we're going to tackle the desk and hopefully by the end of the day I can sh actually show you my desk because it will look nice and tidy and pretty we shall see but yeah, that is my plan. I'm also going to see some friends tonight because I'm going to my old flat chair because they're having a bit of like a, it's not a party, it's just like a little hangout of some former and current flatmates. And as a former flatmate, I feel like I'm invited to it. So I'm gonna go there tonight. But hopefully by the time that comes around, I will have finished Escaping from Houdini. But yeah. I will start my day, crack on with the day and see how far I get and I will keep you updated. here with an update so I've read a little bit more I'm now on page 360 so I only have about I think like 80 pages left of the book um, and I was thinking I should probably do like one last update before the end to kind of talk about my not necessarily theories but like how I feel about um, the mystery in particular so my current issue is I am really enjoying this like I'm like the way that this is written is really giving me like five star feels because I'm like thoroughly enjoying everything like I think the atmosphere as I previously said is really well done the only thing that is bugging me is that I feel like we're not getting a lot of information regarding the mystery I feel like we're not really getting any new clues there keep like like murders keep happening like there are several murders in this book like they keep happening pretty much every single day a new body is found but I feel like although we're finding new bodies and technically there's a lot of new information added it's not helping us it's not helping us make any theories or exclude anyone like usually I feel like we should have with each new body that we find we should be able to like eliminate a suspect or have a clue that helps us like form theories or even like create suspects i feel like in this we're circling around the same like three suspects maybe four um but none of the clues that we're getting are really helping us like determine anything or like get any closer and like I'm at the point in the book where I have this much left like very little left and I don't have like a solid theory like I have ideas but I don't have any like proper grounds you know <laughs> I don't have any proper grounds to like actually form theories so that's the only thing that's really bothering me where I really wish I got more and I feel like it was probably a bit better in the first two books in the series where I felt like we were getting just a little bit more like clues to form theories in this one like I have no idea what's gonna happen maybe I'm just not seeing it like maybe this is a personal thing and I'm just not like picking up on the clues um 
could be, I don't know. But I will keep reading this, I'll finish it, and then I will probably do like a follow-up and tell you if that was right, if I maybe just overlooked things and how the ending kind of compares. But I felt like it was important to like update and tell you guys that I'm really enjoying it. I just wish I could guess more and form more accurate theories. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I am rambling. I'm going to go back to reading and hopefully next time I'll see you, I will have finished this book. Hi. Um, I haven't finished the book yet. I am quickly popping in to say that I'm just about to go out to have a drink with my old flatmates. Um, I have not managed to finish this book yet. I got a bit distracted. I'm pretty much on page 400, so I have like 30 pages left. So unless I get too drunk tonight, which I'm not planning to, so if I don't get too drunk, I will still be finishing this tonight and I will give you guys my immediate reaction like sometime tonight but it'll be in a couple of hours because I am now going out for a drink. I might film something, I might not, we shall see. It's not in like any fancy or exciting place, it's just in like a student bar. So yeah, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys later tonight when I have finished this and can actually give you my like rating, but so far still feeling the same. Um, as in like, I feel like we're now like, getting more clues, like we're slowly piecing together stuff, but I feel like a lot of the stuff was things that could have been introduced like slowly over the course of the novel and they don't have to be like info dumped at the end, but I don't know, we shall see. Maybe, maybe in the end the big reveal will be something that I'm like, oh, I could have seen this coming. So maybe I'm just too dumb to see it, but I will see you later. Because right now, let's go for a drink. Good morning. It is to No, it's Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday. I am so sorry for not updating last night. I ended up coming home pretty late at like half past midnight. And I decided that it was too late to finish the book. Because although I said I would, I didn't want to like force it and I didn't want to force myself to stay awake just in order to finish the book and do an update because I want to enjoy the ending of a book and I don't want to be falling asleep while I read so I decided to do it today so yeah um I do have an actually really busy day like I'm actually going to be like rushing out and about um, because I am leaving in like five minutes to go to like a co-working cafe study date vibe with my best friend and then after that I am actually going straight to the hairdressers to get my hair cut. I am a bit nervous because I don't really know what I want but we're gonna see we're gonna see how I look like later because there will be some change hopefully. Um, and then after that, I have like a meeting, so it'll be a busy day, but I'm sure I can find the time at some point to finish Escaping from Houdini and then maybe tonight um, we can pick a new book together. I am excited to pick up something from my April TBR. I think that we have some really good books on there, so I'm excited. I'm keen. Um, yeah, I do have to run now because I am, as always, running late, but I will see you later when I have time to check in and probably have finished Escaping from Houdini. Although I shouldn't be saying that because every time I've said that in the past, in this video, it was not the truth and I have not finished it, so I should probably stop jinxing it. Okay, I will see you later. <laughs> see I'm in my usual spot with new hair we went quite a lot shorter and we also did I don't know if you can tell but we did like some kind of coppery blondish highlights I'm gonna have to be 
it's going to take some time to adjust to the new like length and everything, but exciting. Um, I have to really quickly update because I actually need to leave the house in like 10 minutes again because I am kind of running late to my meeting, but I did on my train to the hairdressers finish um, escaping from Houdini. I ended up giving this 4.5 stars, probably leaning more towards a 4 star than a 5 star, just because of the critiques that I said before. I did actually end up kind of guessing the plot twist, like I did manage to think of who it was, which is really unfortunate because as I said, we weren't really given much clues and considering that even with the few clues that we had, I managed to guess who it was, like slightly before the end, not super far in advance, but like kind of like maybe like 30 pages before it was revealed. It's a little sad, but I also think it could have been more complex. Like from the clues that we were given in the beginning and like the whole premise of it, I really expected like the most elaborate, like mysterious, like secret society, dark underground web of conspiracies and like dark past, whatever. I expected a lot. And what we were given was Maybe a little bit less than that. Maybe this is just me being like having really high expectations because I loved the atmosphere of this so much. And like, if I was rating this for atmosphere and like enjoyment, it would have been a five star. But just in terms of the mystery, it wasn't quite a five star, but still really good. I really enjoyed the dynamic in our relationship in here because basically, Audrey Rose and Thomas get together at the end of book two. That might be a slight spoiler, but like, they're destined to be together <laughs> like um and we introduce some conflict in this book and they kind of are not like on perfect terms in this entire book which is good because i was really scared that like we would lose the fun element of them like pining for each other and of them like actually getting together but we kept that up like we kept the relationship dynamic of like their banter and their back and forth really going in this book so yeah i then also started another book um i picked another one from my tbr but i only managed to read the first 20 pages but that was silver night trade by sylvia moreno garcia um it matches my jumper love that um but yeah i started this one this is well i only have read 20 pages of it so i don't really know a lot about it but it's about the film industry in Mexico in, I believe, like the 80s or 90s, 90s, in the 90s. And it's about like the horror movie industry. We follow this one woman who is a like audio editor, like a sound editor for a movie studio. And we also follow um, like an actor. He was kind of like a soap opera star couple years ago and now his career has kind of dried up a little bit but we follow those two as far as I know so far and yeah seems really fun I'm already enjoying the writing style a lot it's so easy to fly through like those first 20 pages took me what 15 minutes maybe um so I'm keen to read this I'm keen to keep going I'm gonna try and read a lot more of this tonight because I feel like I haven't read enough yet today and I'm really keen to start it like I really really want to get into this and get a proper start it's also not too long it's like just about 314 pages so should be a fast and easy read so I'm excited I now really have to run so I will see you guys later after my meeting for a bit more of a cozy atmosphere and maybe we can like quiet and like settle down a little bit and actually do some cozy reading because today it has been just a frenzy of me running around but you have to have those days, don't you? You have to have those busy days. And I'm so excited I got my haircut. I keep touching it because it's so much shorter. Like, it was literally like down to here, I think. Maybe not, just quite, just here. Um, <laughs> and now like obviously it's a lot shorter and it's also curled and it's also like colored. I'm obsessed, okay. I have got to run, so I will see you guys later. Good morning. Please ignore the mess in the background. Um, it is now Thursday, it's Thursday morning. I'm still getting adjusted to the new hair. I'm so sorry that this is all I go on about in this video, but it's just exciting. Um, but yeah, it is Thursday morning now. I am just about to leave to go for like coffee, breakfast with a friend. 
Um, I have not managed to get any reading in this morning yet, but I'm excited. I don't have that many plans today and it is like the most gorgeous weather outside. So I'm thinking that I can maybe go to like a park or the balcony or something just outside and do some reading there. Um, I'm really keen to keep reading Silver Nitrate because the beginning was intriguing, like it's it's fun so far. I think I got up to page like 36 yesterday, so I'm still very much in the beginning, but it's a short book overall, so I'm like, I could easily read this. And yeah, my goal is, so it, today is Thursday. I don't have any plans like properly today and I don't have any plans tomorrow and then I have a relatively busy weekend but ideally in a perfect world I would finish like two more books this week is that insane probably will I make it we shall see but in an ideal world I could finish like two short books today not today this week Let, let's see um, I'm also not sure if I'll do this vlog too Friday or to Sunday I kind of have to see how much footage I have and like how interesting it is because I have a busy weekend and I'm not sure how much I'm gonna like even read or film but yeah that's exciting I will try to take you along with me to coffee and if I do any reading I'll definitely bring my book just in case I like go to the park straight from the cafe but yeah I will take you guys along and yeah, I'm excited. Uh, good weather always motivates me to do a ton of reading and like to just have the best day ever. And so yeah, I'm gonna go and meet my friend and then I will see you guys later. Bye bye. I am back home. Um, I was out for way longer than I expected. I only expected to be out for like coffee but we ended up going to the library afterwards because um, my friend wanted to get some work done and I was like, you know what, I should kind of do some, just like general prep for the semester. So I've basically just like enrolled in all of the courses, made my timetable, kind of like put the schedule of my classes into like my Google Calendar and everything. So I've done a bunch of like general prep for the semester. I also finally decluttered my laptop, which was something I desperately needed to do. Um, I started it yesterday and then I finished it today. So now I have storage space on my MacBook and I should be like set for the new semester. Um, but yeah, so it was a really productive day, day and I also have some exciting news because my friend actually gave me a book. Um, the backstory is we went to Dublin together. A couple of weeks ago and we all went like book shopping a ton like we went to so many bookshops um, and we all bought like a bunch of books there and she picked up this one romance and I was like it sounds really good like I kind of want to read it as well so she promised to give it to me after she was done and now she's finished reading it so it's my turn to get it and that book is Business or Pleasure by Rachel Lynn Solomon and I'm super excited. I haven't really heard anyone talk about this particular book by Rachel and Solomon, but I know she's written Weather Girl and The X Talk. And I know those were like somewhat popular books on like Book Talk and Booktube. And I'm really excited to read this. Um, she said it was super fun and just like very entertaining. Um, it's, I think it's about a ghostwriter who writes like a memoir for an actor but they also have like a really weird crappy one night stand before as far as I know because I remember that my friend was reading this in Ireland and she read like the first hookup of these two like the bad one night stand and she was like it was so cringy to read because the smut was so bad like it was so much went wrong and it sounded really fun she said it's like a super fun novel really silly really goofy just like not too serious um, and like the right amount of smart like enough plot but also enough smart so it sounds really good I've heard really great things about Rachel and Solomon but I've never read any of her books so I'm excited to have this um, will I read this anytime soon hopefully because I always feel really bad when I'm borrowing someone's book 
and I don't give it back for ages. So I'm gonna try and squeeze this in like maybe at the end of my April TBR or maybe in my May TBR. But I do want to finish it. Like I do want to read it relatively soon because I want to give it back to her. I don't want to be a person who steals a book because they just cannot find the time to read it. And also it sounds really fun and like a really quick read. Like this will be a perfect romance in between. So yeah, exciting news, a new book to add to my TBR. Yeah, um, as for now, I'm gonna have a bit of a break from being productive and probably just chill, maybe do some reading. Um, I am really excited. We did actually manage to do some reading in the cafe when we were like hanging out. It consisted of us like reading one page and then putting our books down to talk and then reading another page and talking again. But I got up to page 50 of Silver Nitrate. So not really a lot further, but like at least a little bit. And I'm still enjoying it. Nothing much has happened yet, except now the actor and the like audio editor that we're following, they have met one of their like favorite horror movie directors um, because like the actor lives in the same building as this director like he moves into the building and finds out that his like neighbor is his favorite kind of like movie director so they had like a dinner and like a conversation and we're just like geeking out over movies that's kind of what happened so far um i'm gonna keep reading this and i will check back in with you guys later when i have more of an idea of where the plot is headed because right now I have like no idea where this will go and like what kind of the like event is gonna be that happens in this plot because right now it's just kind of very much like character driven we're just following these characters in like their jobs, their lives, their personal situations so yeah I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys in a little bit okay one last update it is late it's late at night. I've just spent the evening reading. I've had such a wholesome evening just reading and chilling. We did some reading sprints with some friends and yeah, um, I have a bit of an update because I actually managed to read quite a lot of Silver Nitrate. It was really my goal to get to like the 50% mark today and I did it. I am pretty much halfway, I think. Um, so I'm on page 158 at the moment and I'm really enjoying this. Like I am having a good time. It is super dark and mysterious. Like we really just follow this actor and this audio editor who meet like their favorite director, like their favorite horror movie director. And he tells them about this unfinished movie that he um, once directed together with like a German occultist. Like <laughs> with this German occultist who was also potentially a Nazi, maybe not. And um, it's an unfinished movie because this German occultist died like during the making of it. Um, so they never finished it and there's like no copies, there's nothing left of it. But he is like intent on like kind of like finishing the movie together with our two main characters. So that's kind of the premise of it. And like in the book, we then also do like a bunch of research into like this German occultist and like the entire kind of like occultist scene of Mexico at the time. And a lot of like beliefs in magic and occultism and like all that stuff. And it's super fun. Like. I love books like this. Um, I love when characters do like extensive research in books and like find out about like old myths and legends and folklore. So this is like everything I like. And it's also super unique in my opinion. Like I've not read anything like this pretty much. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. And um, it's also very fast paced in my opinion. Like I'm only at the halfway point and I feel like so much has already happened and like I've flown through this. Like I only really started this yesterday and I'm already halfway through and like I'm not 
in my reading era where I read like 300 pages a day so it's really fun I'm hoping to maybe finish it tomorrow because I have a relatively chill day tomorrow I just need to do some like work and run some errands but otherwise I have the entire day free so I could try and finish this I think it's gonna be another like good weather day tomorrow so I might like sit outside do some reading yeah but right now I have to go to bed because I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule ahead of uni so I should go sleep and get a good night's rest hopefully not have nightmares about horror movies because this book is bloody terrifying sometimes but yeah I'm excited to continue reading tomorrow I think tomorrow will be the last day that I vlog because I have quite the like busy weekend and I'm not sure how much reading I'll do but I'm not, I don't want to promise anything but I might try and vlog like my first week back at uni I'm not sure if I will but I'm gonna try but yeah thank you guys for watching I will see you tomorrow for the last why did I say that I will see you tomorrow for the last day of this reading vlog I'm excited to maybe finish So the Night Trade. I would love to finish two books in this vlog, but yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Friday, last day of the vlog. I have slept in today. It's like 11 right now. And I just got a message from a friend that I need to help her out and do a big favor. So we're gonna be on a side quest today. Because basically, my friend is meant to pick up her new room keys before 1pm today. However, she's stuck outside of town on a train that broke down. So she can't come and collect them herself. So she asked me if I could very kindly go and pick up her keys. So I'm going to go do that. That's going to be my first point of call because we love to do a little side quest. And then afterwards, I'm probably going to go and just have a chill day, do some reading. I need to do some grocery shopping today, but I think apart from that, I don't really have anything to do. And tonight I'm going to have like a Scrabble night with my best friends. So I'm excited. It's gonna be a good day. The weather is absolutely beautiful and I'm excited to get out. Like, I think I think I was absolutely not bothered by like helping out my friend because I'm like, the weather is nice. Like I get to be outside. I've got nothing to complain about. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go do that. And I, yeah, I'm excited for today. I think I'm gonna do a ton of reading. My goal is to finish Silver Nitrate today so that I could like nicely finish off the vlog with another book that we finished. So I really hope that I get to finish it. I have like 160 pages left. So like, it should be doable. I think I can. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get going. Let's start a positive Friday. Unfortunately, it's my last Friday before the semester begins again. I am dreading the new semester. I have enjoyed like the last two months of being off from uni so much and I'm really not ready to go back yet, but I've got to. Um, I'm going to have a really high workload this semester. So as a quick explanation because I'm not sure how much I've talked about this. I'm currently studying to get my master's in computational linguistics and right now I'm mainly learning a lot of like the programming stuff so in the summer I will be taking like a Python course, a Java course and like a grammar formalism so like formal grammar course um, and it's all just got to be a lot because I'm not like a naturally good at programming girly. I don't really program in my free time. So it's been a lot of work to like learn it and I'm scared. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in this upcoming semester. Why is it scary? I don't know. But yeah, I'm hoping to still be able to like film a ton and like make content because I feel like it'll be a nice distraction from uni and also just like a nice like balance with like something fun to balance out all of the uni stuff but yeah um I should stop babbling because my friend needs me and I need to rescue her and get her keys so I'm gonna go grab the keys for her and then I will see you guys later when I'm actually reading
Okay, that was kind of a flop yesterday, not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, my day just kind of derailed yesterday. I ended up spending so much time trying to get my friend's keys because it turns out it wasn't that easy. It wasn't just like me going there, showing them like she gave me like the okay to get them and picking them up. But first of all, I could not find a single like caretaker, service person, person who works like a manager for the building. like. No one was there, every office was closed, so I was like, this is not ideal. And then once I had like scoured the grounds, probably for like an hour, I finally found like a manager who then told me that I could actually not pick up the keys for my friend because I only had like a digital like allowance, like not allowance, but like a digital permit. Um, and I needed like a printed one hand signed and I was like well how am I meant to get that my friend's not here like what should I do and he was like well when's she arriving because like maybe he can wait and accept her so he ended up waiting for her I ended up waiting as well so I could help her with like her bags and like the moving in because she had like really big suitcases so I ended up spending like half the day with that and then afterwards I had to do like my grocery shopping and then basically it was already time for like girls night and then I went to Scrabble night which was super fun super cute I didn't end up filming anything because it was just a very like cozy and like a very personal atmosphere and I didn't want to be like I'm filming this but we had some really really fun words like we we played it in German because we had a German Scrabble set um but we we made some insane words like <laughs> Pretty sure like the first word in the first round that I started with was literally like fucking in German because it was the only word that I could do, but it was great. <laughs> no, we had really a lot of fun at Scrabble and um, yeah, because I didn't really do any updates, I decided to carry on the vlog into the weekend. So here we are again. <laughs> Have you missed me? Um, so yeah, today is Saturday. I am just about to leave to go shopping with my mum. We are just doing like a bunch of errands together. I need, I desperately need some like more like formal wear. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I also, my favorite jeans ripped the other day, my trusty favorite pair of jeans. So we are on a mission today to replace those jeans. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to watch a rugby game. I have never watched rugby in my entire life. I'm, I'm, I know nothing about rugby, but one of my friends is going and I, she was like, does anyone want to come along? And conveniently, it's right near where I'm going shopping, so I was like, I'll join. Um, so that's my day. We are back on like a bunch of side quests and like doing a bunch of random stuff. But I am bringing along silver nitrate so that hopefully we can actually finish it this weekend. So I'm bringing silver nitrate. I'm hopefully gonna read a ton on the train. So yeah, come along with me and hopefully I will have some good news and I finish the book when I talk to you again. Maybe not, we will find out. Good morning, um, it's Sunday. I'm so sorry for kind of derailing this vlog. Um, unfortunately I don't have any exciting updates except for I went to see the rugby and it was really cute. Um, it was really fun. I had a good time at rugby. Um, actually really enjoyed it. It was very brutal. It was kind of unhinged but had a good time. Um, yeah, <laughs> I read a tiny bit more of Silver Nitrate. Unfortunately I'm still not done but I will finish tonight. Like I am... Um, I am finishing it tonight, that's what I'm hoping for. So I will give like one more update tonight and hopefully be able to wrap it up. But yeah, um, so far I am still very much enjoying it. It's really fast paced, like a lot of stuff's happening. It's going into like a lot of different directions that I wasn't expecting to, but it's definitely keeping me like on my toes and it has that unique Silvia Moreno Garcia vibe. Um, I'm kind of at a bit of like a midpoint right now where it could go into different directions and I'm not really sure where it's gonna go. So yeah, we're gonna have to see 
where it goes but yeah I'm excited it's Sunday today it's just like 1 p.m. right now and I'm about to leave to go to a picnic I haven't gone to a picnic in so long but I'm really excited I just made some brownies to take to the picnic um, and yeah we're gonna go to the park and lay it all out on some picnic blankets and have like a little feast and I'm so excited I think it's gonna be really fun maybe I'll bring my book and see if I can do some reading but otherwise I will just do some reading tonight and finish this later because I really want to finish one more book before going back to uni yeah that's it that's all I had to say not much content because I'm not that much further into the book but I am really enjoying it, I am liking it, it's good. I just have not had the time to read it a lot. But yeah, I will see you guys soon with some final thoughts on this. Okay, last update. <laughs> I finished Silver Night Trade just now. I literally just finished reading it. I just read the last page and oh my god. I've had a wild evening. I just spent like the last like two hours just sitting in bed and reading this and if I tell you that this is like a horror movie except that like in a horror movie you know like I'd occasionally like go on my phone or like just not look at the screen when it gets really creepy or I would just like you know like fly through because it just takes like I don't know an hour and a half to watch a horror movie. This entire book was fucking creepy and it definitely takes longer than an hour and a half. I was literally like begging this to be over because I was scared and suddenly it started like thundering and like there were like lightning flashes outside and I was like not right now please I'm reading a horror novel I'm literally scared to death right now but I finished it um I think I'm going to give this 4.5 stars overall it was really really good just not quite a five star I feel like I didn't have as much of like a connection with the characters and I'm not sure how long this is gonna like sit with me like I'm not sure how long I'll be thinking about this book um so that's why I got like a 4.5 star it was still really good like I would highly recommend this this is basically like the way I would describe it is it's like a paranormal horror movie just in book form like if you really like horror movies and kind of like the classic spooky possession or like cult themed horror movies that's kind of like this um I think I wasn't really aware that this was going to be sort of paranormal supernatural when I bought the book I wasn't sure if it was more like a thriller or like a horror it is definitely more of a horror and it's definitely got like supernatural elements so if you do not like that in books steer clear from that one. I always am not sure whether to talk about if a book has supernatural elements because some people might consider this like a spoiler but I feel like it's not and I feel like if someone goes into this expecting a thriller they could be like disappointed a little bit because it's not just about them clearing up like a murder or something like it's not a hundred percent realistic like there are some spooky things in this so if you like spooky things though, and if you like horror movies that have kind of like a spooky element, this is definitely like that. And I think Sylvia Moreno Garcia is an incredible writer. She's made such a good atmosphere. Like she's insanely good at writing a good like scary story. I also really enjoyed Mexican Gothic, which was also just phenomenal. And I think this is on par with that. It goes in a different direction, like it's def very much different in themes, but it goes in a similar direction. So if you like Mexican Gothic, this is um, different, but just as good, I would say. But yeah, very excited that we finished this. Um, I'm happy to have finished at least like one more book. Remember when I said that I would finish two books before the end of the week? That was a bit too ambitious, but I also just had a very busy weekend, ended up having so much to do. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that we at least managed to finish Silver Night Trade. So that brings the total of the week, I think, to two books, because we finished Escaping from Houdini and Silver Night Trade. 
both of which were incredible books. I think I gave both books 4.5 stars. So overall, that's like a really good reading week. Like, I'm very happy with those results. Um, I hope you had a fun time coming along through this week. I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope I kept some of my promises. I know I promised a lot. I kept promising that I would finish more books and like do a bunch of reading and I didn't. But I hope overall that you still enjoyed spending the week with me. I am hopefully gonna film some more videos next week. I'm not sure if I will actually attempt to vlog just because I feel like I will just be too busy and I won't be doing a lot of reading. So probably no vlog next week, but I will think of something else to film. So I will see you soon. Have a wonderful morning, evening, night, wherever you are. And I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I hope your reading is going really well. And see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>